Hasn't been the best trip. We'll fill you guys in on it soon. Mother, mother of mine. You see the people yeah, high five. I'm Elena and this is Riley and this is our home, La Vagabond. <laughs> We've been sailing around the world for the last six years now and recently it's like we're seeing everything for the first time through a new set of eyes. This is our little boy Lenny. Click the subscribe button to join our voyage every Monday. Just jumped in the dinghy, fired up the engine. Lenny's very unhappy because he couldn't bring his tractor to town today. <laughs> he was so upset, hey? We've got a sick car. It's so sick. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait till you see it. Our friend lent us his car and today we're gonna do a day trip around the island of Santo, Puerto Santo. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Good job! Is that filming? Stay away from my boat! This ferry's coming in and they get really close to our boat every time they reverse. Film that! Guess which car it is. <laughs> this is our car. <laughs> Look at it, it's a mini Mo. <laughs> um, we were not expecting this when he lent it to us. He's like, yeah, we got a car, it's a little bit old, but I think you'll like it. We're like, are you kidding? This is the coolest car ever, except we don't know how to put it into reverse, so we've been having to push it <laughs> out of every parking <laughs> space, which is hilarious. Luckily, it's a quiet island, so there's not much traffic, but, um, yeah, she's got a lot of character. <laughs> Some people keep their fingers clean, others use dirty paper. Me, baby, I'm somewhere <laughs> Push, Lenny. Oh god, and there's a car coming.
Solio. That's diesel or? Black is diesel, green is petrol. Let's go, Lenny. I'm really glad we didn't bring the car down here, hey? Oh my God. It's pretty steep. Looks like we're gonna have this place all to ourselves. It's a bunch of rock pools, so we had to time it perfectly. It's nearly low tide. And um, yeah, just crystal clear little rock pools. Bit of a trek to get down there. <laughs> How is it? It's colder than I thought it would be. You said it's warmer over there, huh? Hey? Yeah, the water's been sitting for a while longer. Did you win it? Uh, maybe. So we got to get Lenny home now. We've got about an hour before he needs to go down. He's sleeping for about, for a couple of hours during the day. We've got a bunch of work that we need to still do, so we'll do that. Working on the new boat project. <laughs> Very excited. So, same as we have been for the last two years. Yeah. <laughs> what are we going to do this afternoon, Pants? I actually don't know. Without a babysitter, grandparents, or even any close friends yet to help us watch Lenny so we can work, these couple of hours a day is such precious time to us. Like, hysterically precious. To the point where, if someone comes by the back of the boat and starts yelling our names, Riley will tiptoe run out the back and flap his arms around like a flappy pelican, trying to tell them without using words that the baby is sleeping. If you guys missed our last episode here in Porto Santo, I'll link it above to watch after. But we spoke about the fact that we haven't been back to Australia in over a year now because of travel restrictions and complications with the virus. Days like this, when you're in the sun and having fun, can make you forget all about any feelings of homesickness we might be having. It's not until the weather's bad and we're stuck on the boat with Lenny, who just wants to run around, <laughs> that we start to feel really sad. Skill level amateur. Romantic date in front of the supermarket.
Did you steal my cheese? jacket you know yeah but I need we need to try this out anyway so arms up good boy <laughs> refuge behind a tree right now it's been raining non-stop it wasn't the best day to go hiking but um, we looked at the sky this morning and it looked like it was gonna rain but sometimes it doesn't so if you always think it's gonna rain you're never gonna go but today was one of those days we got stuck in the rain if you can sneak something here on a day you should have stayed at home you've had a massive win yeah anyway we're a bit lost the track is not well marked in fact we're not on a track at all anymore yes we are mountain goats <laughs> We're mountain goats today. Don't waste that banana. No, don't waste it. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> We'd be leaving Porto Santo in a few days before another low was due to hit and we could be stuck here for another week or so. We needed to get our butts down to the Canary Islands, another 330 nautical miles, or a few days sail south of here, because it was time to cross the Atlantic Ocean and get back to the tropical Caribbean. As beautiful as Portugal has been for us the past six months or so, like this country's almost perfect, we were craving some warmer water to freedive in. Don't be fooled by this beautiful ocean. The water is really quite chilly here. One thing Portugal has been amazing for though was all the hiking trails. Before we depart on any big crossing where we don't usually get too much exercise, we really love to tire ourselves out with a big hike. We'd be leaving for Tenerife in the Canary Islands tomorrow morning. He's laughing. Do you feel me when you're cold? And I want to know. Oh, you're so cute. I'm sorry I'm laughing at you, Bob. It really was funny. He hasn't learned. <laughs> Oh, 
then pushing a bit hard then. We're coming up to our island of Tenerife. Tenerife. Uh, we just sailed, well, we've nearly sailed 320 nautical miles. We haven't filmed any of it. We're gonna tell you guys why soon. It's been um, very emotional for both Riley and I. Like, probably the closest I've ever come to thinking I'm going to lose my mind. Uh, we'll fill you guys in on it soon, but um, yes, what's happened on this sail? We broke the code D. Oh well, unlucky, hit a wave at the wrong angle and wrong angle that way and that way. So, just too much pressure all of a sudden and it popped. Just before I was cooking dinner and the pan, the oil lit up on fire. I've never had that happen to me before. So luckily it was very calm. Riley grabbed his jumper and put it on top of it. Um, we've had some water come in through the hatch. So Riley had to get all of that out of the bilge because the bilge pump kept going off. Hasn't been the best trip. <laughs> Hasn't been the best trip. Talk to you guys when we get there. So I think those guys are on the fuel dock. You don't think we should speak to the dude? No, maybe wave it and pretend like we're locals here. We come here all the time. Hey guys. <laughs> so we just had a shower, caught up in some sleep. That was a really tiring trip. Two days we just spent at sea. Mm. Uh, very emotional days and that's what we're gonna wrap up this video with just telling you a bit about our plans and what's been going on i personally. almost enjoy coming to you guys down like confessing about all the bad times because i really hate portraying the perfect holiday yeah, which we say all the time but we do we're more likely to film the highlights but anyway this isn't a highlight so what's been going on is elaine is pregnant now and so then her seasickness is getting like way, way worse. So she's over there trying to cook and throwing up in the sink, which we didn't get to film. So then I'm having to do all of the sailing or like, you know, not all of it at all. I can keep a watch, lot, but... A lot, a lot of it. And then we've got to look after Lenny as well. And then normally trying to film and I'm not going to, I'm just, I'm not going to do that unless I'm having a good time which we weren't. Filming's usually a very fun thing for us, but we yeah, just we well, didn't I have the it. energy to film on nah, our trip. It was a disaster and I was just like... Because what's been going on in our minds lately? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm prompting you. <laughs> We've been trying to figure out what it is we're going to do over the next six to nine months. 18 to 24. As you know, we have a new boat project, so uh, that's coming up after we have the baby. A cutoff date for me to fly is five months from now. We don't know if we're gonna be able to get back to Australia to have the baby, which is our preference. We would love to have a baby in Australia in that same hospital and for our little Nino to have an Australian passport. We're just gonna stick around in, in the Canaries until a, a different or better plan sort of rears its ugly head. We're gonna be on land building our boat and that's a great time to have a newborn and I don't know that's going to be a really nice time for us just to have some to some land time. Yeah that'll be amazing. We're lucky that that's just somehow matched up at a time when we definitely need some time on land. Yeah. And then we've been planning for and looking like really looking forward and having excellent ideas I think for making these boat building videos. Yeah. Which I've been 
so keen and so excited for oh, for such too. a long time. And Hands so then on. now we get to do that right at the time when it, we should be spending some time like money. Yeah. So that's kind of perfect. Really going to get into the renovations. Going to be going to be great. Going to be in overalls every day, painting, tiling. It's going to be fun. Tiling. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tile the bathroom. Yeah. My lighthouse design. Uh, I wanted to say one more thing. But what's been stressing out me the most is the fact that usually after a year we go back to Australia and we have that sense of community and Well, home. we said that we weren't going to do this anymore unless we could go and spend some time home each year because otherwise you'd just go insane. We've been doing this for seven years. Yeah. So, like... And this is our boat home, but we also need a land home and... I have been, me more than you, I would say, I've just been so upset and craving friends and family mm. like never before and it's, well, South Australia's closed its borders, so. Yeah. So COVID's really got us. Mm-hmm. Finally caught up to us. Yep. Big time. Mm-hmm. Thanks for listening and uh, Sorry. it's important that you know Sorry for complaining what's so really going on behind the scenes as well as seeing all the good stuff as well. And in front of the scenes, as you've just seen. I was trying to think of like a clever goodbye. The word I did, scene. I did it. Really? Yeah. That didn't sound like a goodbye though. As you've seen. And then... Okay. Exit. <laughs>